Well, the signing was a milestone, first of all, uh, because we've had partnership in the past, but this was taking it to another level. And what it means is that um, marine studies, if you like, in its widest sense, will now be offered um, in London and elsewhere. And we hope to enlarge the whole offering to include cybersecurity, marine engineering management, um, marine finance. So it's much wider than shipping uh, could ever have been or could be. And this partnership will not only be based in London, but it will also have a global reach as well. Well, first of all, we're very proud of this collaboration because it's the first of its kind ever to be established in London. Uh, London has been traditionally a shipping hub, a maritime hub for many different businesses. And uh, we are sharing this expertise that BCA has. BCA is a very old maritime college of Greece, 52 years old. And we've produced many graduates now working in the maritime industry globally. Um, so we are we're joining forces to uh, bring our expertise to London in the areas of ship management, cybersecurity, marine engineering management, finance, all those areas where uh, Greece is known for as an industry, bringing them together with the University of West London through the Hellenic Institute of Maritime Studies. Our aim here is to create an institution which will uh, fill the gap in maritime studies in the UK and um, be a leading world-class research centre as well in all those areas which are now at the forefront of the maritime industry, such as sustainability, decarbonisation, cybersecurity, finance, all those areas which are uh, now at the forefront of, uh, of the discussions. Yes, certainly. BC College was the first institution to be established in Greece. As you know, Greece is the leading uh, ship management nation, ship managing nation of the world with 6,000 vessels under ownership being managed mostly in Greece. So you can understand the importance of this industry. Uh, BC was the first institution in Greece to be established, uh, creating master's and bachelor's degrees and creating the leaders which are now at, uh, you know, at managerial positions in all those companies being based in Greece, but also in Greece abroad, globally. So uh, it's an important and historic college in the maritime field in Greece, and now expanding in other places around the world, the first of which is London. Yeah, the launch of this uh, new partnership is, I think, very exciting development for the maritime industry because we are, I say, in a way, combining the heritage of both London as, as, a, as a maritime cluster with Greece, uh, with their, their strong tradition as well. Uh, there have been very strong ties in the past, and I think now with the crossroads that we have in the maritime industry, very key challenges like decarbonization, digitalization, human element, all, all coming together at the same time, we need to be able to attract and, and develop people who will be leading the industry in the future. So essentially, we're going to be focusing on both, uh, let's say, technical subjects like uh, decarbonization, engineering, cybersecurity, but also, we're going to be helping upskill, let's say, existing maritime professionals uh, with the additional knowledge um, and all the specializations needed to be able to support the maritime industry going forward. Well, we have, we have uh, very strong uh, contributions for the Greek economy uh, via shipping, let's say, the, the wider shipping cluster. Uh, we're talking even in double digits. Um, in the UK, it's, it's not so high because obviously there is a, there is a clearer focus on, on, on services in the UK. However, uh, because we have a strong tradition both in the insurance market, uh, finance in, in London, in, in the UK, we believe that we have also the, the foundation to develop further, uh, let's say, the, the, the creation of jobs, uh, cross-training, uh, upskilling, as I mentioned before. Uh, within the wider maritime industry. The, the, the core structure is, is revolving around the maritime organization. So the way that the, let's say, a, a company is organized in practice, we then develop modules which cover and focus each of those individual elements. So we have a financial element, we have a technical, and I have an operations, a commercial, HR, uh, purchasing, uh, all those combining to give, let's say, the, the whole big picture within a shipping organization. This is one uh, model that has worked very well uh, for the Greek market. And this is something that we want to, in, in a way, let's say, um, promote uh, to other parts of the world, uh, with the UK being 
absolutely a very, very important market for, for shipping. Yeah, there's a very, very strong practical element. Uh, very, uh, we're using industry experts, uh, taking case studies from actual events, uh, scenarios. Uh, crisis management is, is, again, a very important element of all our offerings uh, because one of the, let's say, the characteristics of shipping is its unpredictable nature. Uh, and the fact that uh, any geopolitical event will significantly influence the way that a, let's say, shipping company operates and as well the people that are working within that company as well.